It is Firehouse Friday, and that means we are helping to raise awareness for the Connecticut Burns Center at Bridgeport Hospital. Join me now are firefighters Doug Petrie and Mike Plotkin from Echo Hose Hook and Ladder Company Number 1. That is in Shelton. Gentlemen, thanks for being here. Thanks for having us. This is a volunteer department, correct? Correct, 100% volunteer. It's a lot of work. Sure we is. We all have other jobs in addition to this. Absolutely, yep. All right, what are we going to make today, Doug? We're going to do some uh, breaded uh, baked chicken and mac and cheese. All right, well, how, what have you done so far with the chicken? Uh... Well, I let it sit overnight in, the, in my dressing. Oh, you need a little marinade. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, the marinade is just eggs, uh, Italian dressing, and then I have a bunch of Italian seasonings. All right. Um, you start off by prepping them in flour, and make sure they're sliced nice and thin, and then put them in to the dressing. Okay. And then you put them into the breadcrumbs and flap them all around. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> We're making our coating now, right? Yep. Have to get a nice coat. You want to cover it? I always add it into olive oil that's okay. on the t stove top because it just holds in the favor and browns a little bit. So when it's in the oven, you don't lose any of the breadcrumbs. That makes sense. I like that. It's the best part. <laughs> Is this so, a favorite in the firehouse? It's uh, one of the top favorites. It's up there? It's up there. Very good. Mike, tell me a little bit about the uh, department. Um, we were established in 1882. We are one of four uh, companies that make up the Shelton Fire Department. Mm -hmm. Um, we also known as the fire headquarters because we're in downtown Shelton. Okay. Um, we respond to about a thousand fire emergencies a year, and we have about uh, 60 active guys. And you said some of them are even younger than 18. You we actually have a couple program. of auxiliaries and juniors, which are between 17, uh, excuse me, 16 and 18 years old, and we pretty much just showing them the basic, uh, basic duties of a firefighter before they're able to actually perform those duties. So. All right, let's take a look at some pictures so we could uh, learn a little bit more about uh, Echo Hose. What's this? That's our uh, our antique truck. That's a, what we call Jumbo. It's a uh, Aaron's Fox. It's okay. uh, one of ten that were ever made. And, uh, when, what, what year is this? 1934, I believe. Wow. We're, okay. And so that's we still bag? have it. Actually, runs. You know, the, uh, the veteran members take very good care of it, and they always work very hard to uh, keep it running good. So very good. Very uh, historical piece for the firehouse. Now, do you have that on you somewhere? The badge. Uh, that, that's our patch. There you go, yep. your patch is there. Our, and then, uh, uh, that's our mascot. Yep, and that's our, uh, that's our firehouse right there. That's downtown. That's our fire headquarters right there. Very good. And who's this? And this is uh, actually a bunch of uh, the members. We are donating our uh, check to uh, Bridgeport Hospital Burn Unit. I know you're a 10-year supporter. You guys have been... Uh, Since 2000, donating. we've um, raised about $10,000 now. That's awesome. For the burn unit in total. Oh, um, where was this event? This looks fun. This is actually what we call, it's a bowl of time. We participate in a bowling event for uh, victims of domestic violence. Okay. And uh, we had about 20 guys come out and bowl and raise a bunch of money for them, and it was very good. All right, is this you guys eating? That's actually <laughs> pre-Thanksgiving. That was pre -Thanksgiving a Thanksgiving meeting we did around lunchtime. So how does it all work? Do you guys take turns cooking, and then i got to ask who cleans up? Well, we all take uh, we all take turns cooking pretty much. Whoever wants to cook, Doug's, uh, Doug takes does his share. We have a few <laughs> of the younger guys uh I always say, if I cook, I don't clean. There you go. I think that's fair. Yeah, exactly. That's a good way to live. So whoever doesn't cook cleans, does the dishes, and uh, does everything else. So it's All fair. Right. That's how, fair. Uh, how's the baked chicken coming? It's coming along. Do you keep it in the frying pan for Just a little till, while? And then yeah, until it browns over, and then you put it in the oven. You want to preheat it at 375, mm -hmm. and you usually cook for 10 to 15 minutes, depending on how thick it is. Like I said, you can either pound it out, or I usually slice it so it's a little bit thinner. Very good. All right. I know you guys are also making mac and cheese for us oh. today as well. Yep. In honor of uh, American theme, we're making American, che yes. uh, American cheese. <laughs> mac mac and, cheese. and cheese. With some American and cheese, with, maybe? Yep. <laughs> we actually have uh, five different cheeses. We call it five alarm mac and cheese. It could be Oh, I thought it was because it was hot. It could be that, or we can use five cheeses, depending on how the guys like it. Okay. So we have five cheeses here. We have uh, cheddar cheese, Monterey Jack, pepper, uh, pepper jack, mm -hmm. some mozzarella, and some Parmesan. Oh, very good. So, uh... Pretty much the way we started off is, well, I'm going to swing over right. here. Sure, don't let me get in the way. <laughs> we have uh, two eggs that we uh, beat. Put that in our little mixing bowl here. Okay. All right. We have a three-quarters cup of milk. Did you get messy over there? Yes. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's making a mess, a mess. over there. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're adding a little bit so, of milk. A little milk. We have our uh, two ounces of uh, cheddar cheese that we uh, put off to the side. Okay. And we also have uh, some pepper jack and some Monterey jack here, which we're going to add into the 
mix there. We're making a, making the sauce. Yes. Make it nice okay. and moist. And uh, all right, so we're gonna mix this together. And I'm assuming if you're making this for a firehouse, you're going through uh, several box, several pounds of macaroni. So this probably will only feed a couple of guys. This bowl's <laughs> not gonna do us any justice. But, uh, it's all right. We'll get a great yeah. sample of it though. So we're gonna mix this up. We're gonna put some salt and pepper in there. Nothing too nothing too crazy. Okay. Did you come up with this recipe? Actually, this, <laughs> this recipe actually is inspired by my wife only because she has celiac disease, and oh. if you substitute the pasta here for a gluten-free pasta, that's a gluten-free meal. Sure. So it works both ways. Okay. So you just mixing that up. Yep. So we're gonna mix this up. What we do is we put this in the microwave for about about a minute, stirring it every 20 seconds. You want to make it nice and thick, so when you pour mm -hmm. it into the uh, the uh, pasta there, there <laughs> yep, it soaks it all up, and then um, once we we're gonna pour this in here now, actually. Sure, we can do that. That's starting to smell very good. Tastes even better. <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> so we put right. our big little sauce mix in there, and we put the rest of the cheese in there. Oh, and then do you end up baking that? Absolutely. We have uh, 350 for um, about 30 minutes. And that's that, huh? Yep. And we're going to take it out after 30 minutes, put the rest of the cheese on top. Ooh. Bread comes right. optional if you want. You guys finished cooking that. We're running out of time, but uh, we want to let everyone at home know how you can help support the Connecticut Burn Center at Bridgeport Hospital. You can make a donation. Go to ctburncenter.wtnh.com. And now uh, we're going to finish and we're going to taste this at the end of the show.